Let me just speak from the heart, speak from my gut, and really not have anything prepared, but just tell you what's worked for me. Maybe some of the stuff that's worked for me might work for you now, currently, presently, as you guys have your goals and ambitions, but then further on down the line, as you guys continue to live your life. The first thing I would just want to say is this idea and this notion that you could be anything you want, and you can accomplish anything you want, right? We hear that, you've heard that from the time you were little boys, you hear that now. You're already incredibly accomplished. You can win an NBA championship, MVP of the league. You could become president. You could become governor. You could be in entertainment. You could do whatever you wanna do. You guys know that. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. So before a big movie comes out, before back in the days when I was wrestling with WWE, a WrestleMania match, Anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment and I'd just remind myself, all right, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. Had no place to live. A lot of shit happened then when I moved to Nashville. I was arrested multiple times by the time I was 16 years old. I gotta remember that. If I were playing on this team, before I lace up, before I get on the court, before I play in these big games, I would remember that. And it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy shit, the stuff I have around me right now, this is the shit that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. I played for University of Miami, played with great teams. Warren Sapp, Ray Lewis, they were my teammates. They were balling. And he looked at me, he's like, yo, dude, I'm gonna take your spot. I said, you ain't taking my fucking spot. He said, I'm gonna take your spot. We battled and he took my spot. <laughs> Make you imagine how that fucked with me. Because there goes my opportunity. He went in, switched the defensive tackle, lit the world on fire. But what that did, it crushed me, it crushed my dreams. I had a piss poor senior year, zero production, no NFL, no combine invite, nothing. Finally went to the CFL, Calgary Stampeders, making $250 a week Canadian. Canadian, and I had to send that shit home to my wife at that time had no money. So I remember that. When I got cut from Canada, I had seven bucks in my pocket. So now my production company is seven bucks, advertising agency is seven bucks, everything is seven bucks. So I always remember that. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind, because it allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. I keep my back, excuse my language, my back is up against this motherfucker. Every day, it's against this fucking wall. It's up against this motherfucker because it's what I believe in. And when my back is against this motherfucker, then there's nowhere to go. But that way, that's it. So I feel like this could be something, an ideology and mindset that could help you could if you look at it that way because you made it already we made it we're successful boys and we're lucky boys to be where we're at well, you guys made it but when you make it for me I need this I need this so every day my back is up against this motherfucker and this is how I operate now doesn't mean you don't smile doesn't mean you don't laugh and joke right You're happy I'm happy I'm a happy guy but when it comes to business when it comes to executing, it's up against this. And I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me.